What is one of your most powerful nonverbal delivery tools, and how can you use it to better tell your story? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of my strengths as a presentation skills coach is helping people with their deliveries. This is an area that I struggled with for years. If you've heard my story, I was very canned and prepared and very polished. And if you've seen that video on polish, you know I'm all against being polished now. The way you come across more authentic and less polished and rehearsed is to use your nonverbals. One of the most powerful tools you have in your arsenal is your face. An important idea that I picked up early on in speaking is that reactions tell the story. Far too many presenters over-explain their scenes where they could use nonverbals like their face and their emotional pitch of their voice to get the point across. Here's a quick example. In my story about how I got into speaking back in 1994, that was the time when I was a financial planner giving poor workshops, I set the scene of being in my boss's office and he's reading reviews to me, evaluations of my workshop, and they weren't good. When I first started telling that story years ago, I would explain how I felt. I would say things like, oh, I was so surprised, I was shocked, I was so frustrated and demoralized by this. I don't do that anymore. Now when I portray that scene, as my boss Joe is reading that feedback to me, I show with my face and my tone my reaction. And you can tell that it's not good. For example, as he's reading and says, this guy's all over the map, does he ever stand still? What? This guy gives way too much information too fast, I feel like I've been fit, hit by a fire hose. See, I don't have to say anything. My expression tells you that I'm confused, that I'm, I'm surprised and almost shocked. Like, are you kidding me? How can this be? I know I did a great job, right? I set all that up and then my face finishes the story. As you're putting your stories together, where it, whether it's the emotion of happiness, sadness, ecstasy, despair, whatever it is, challenge yourself to cut the words out. Use your face, your body, and tone of voice. Now, when I'm saying cut the words out, you still can use your voice like I was surprised, like, what? Technically, that's dialogue, but really the face is telling the story, and the, the way I say the word, what, gives you all you need to know about how I'm feeling. Challenge yourself to replace words with reactions and watch how the audience reacts more strongly to your story. <laughs>